Hello everyone, um, <laughs> I'm Father Anthony Craig and greetings to all those at St. Joseph's and Our Lady of the Sacred Heart uh, parishioners. Um, I wanted to make this video and make it sort of brief, but at the same time we have a great joy ahead of us to come back to public masses after so long. Uh, it'll be great to see everyone for sure. And uh, I just want to uh, begin with a prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord Jesus, we know that you are here, that you see us, that you hear us. We adore you with profound reverence. We ask pardon for our sins and ask you to make our lives fruitful in your service. Mary, our Immaculate Mother, St. Joseph, our Universal Patron, our Guardian Angels, intercede for us. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Well... Uh, this is very brief, uh, coming from my living room, trying this on my phone, so it's going to be a strange angle, but I hope you can just follow really with what uh, I'm saying. And uh, so our bishops of Minnesota have spoken to the governor and uh, said basically that uh, the life of faith is very essential, as a service will say, um, and they have issued a, state, a statement, a letter, uh, dated on May 20th, and they said this. This is the key line. Therefore, we are giving our parishes permission for the resumption of the public celebration of Mass on Tuesday, May 26th, which will give us time to be ready for the celebration of Pentecost. There will be sanitation and physical distancing and one-third seating capacity of the churches, etc. Um, so, this is... This is good news for us, but I want to address five essential questions um, for, that you might have in your heads now that this news has broken. Uh, again, the 26th is exciting. That's a Tuesday. It'll be at Our Lady of the Sacred Heart in Buell. That is a beautiful thing. First of all, and we've been working hard on trying to prepare things, the first question is who should come to Mass? First of all, who should come to Mass? All right. Well, uh, again, be aware that one third of the capacity of the church is allowed uh, inside. So we've marked off two of every three pews with tape. And please do not sit in those spaces that have tape over those, even though it might have been your spot. <laughs> I know it'll be a little bit difficult at first, but we'll get used to it. This, this way forward is going to be unique for all of us. Um, so keep that in mind and sit in the ones that are open. Um, the obligation to attend Mass, too, keep in mind, is still suspended during this time. The obligation to, uh, to Sunday Mass is still suspended. Um, we're still required, of course, by our Lord's command to uh, keep holy the Sabbath day, so you can still watch live stream Mass on YouTube. We're going to keep that going. Um, so if you're not comfortable coming in yet, continue to watch it on uh, YouTube and to worship in that way and then make a spiritual communion and prayer and some intimacy and friendship with the Lord uh, fostering that. Again, those over 65 and those with pre-existing conditions, uh, health conditions, um, please stay at home and avoid public gatherings. That includes coming to Mass, um, but at the same time, you know, you have to assess that. Uh, do not come to church if you are sick or if you're coughing, sore throat, fever, shortness of breath, if you've been exposed to a sick person, or if you're caring for someone who is sick. Keep those in mind too. Um, again, 10 a.m. Sundays, we will be live streaming that Mass on YouTube, on our parish YouTube channel. Second question you might have in your mind is, what can I expect when I arrive? Well, again, the tape is going to be over uh, two of every three pews. So that'll look quite different to you when you come in too. Um, come early to Mass. Come early to Mass. Uh, once you've uh, arrived, it will be a little bit more silent than usual because I'm highly encouraging you to avoid chatting or talking. You can greet people real briefly if you wish, but very quietly, very silently, we're there for Jesus. We need Jesus during this time. So do not give handshakes, um, obviously, and remain six feet apart at all times. Wash your hands with sanitizer um, as you enter is a good idea. Bring your own sanitizer, of course. Go to the bathroom before you go to Mass. Uh, ba bathrooms will be kind of restricted to emergency use, and you know what that is, so um, please just uh, keep that in mind. Sit then in those de designated areas when you come, and we're gonna try and fill in the front first. So this is also like, ooh, this will be different, coming early and going to the front if that's uh, not been our practice, come to the front of the church. And we want to fill that in first and then the back. Uh, the third question, 
what should I bring? What should I bring? Okay, again, bring your own hand sanitizer. We will have some by the entrances of the churches, um, but that won't be a guarantee in all of these things. I, I hope to always have that provided, but as we go further into this, it's harder and harder to get, it seems, when we order these things. So please bring your own hand sanitizer. If you have it, bring your mask. Uh, gloves are not required. Um, and during Holy Communion, you will not have your gloves on. Please take your gloves off to if you receive your communion on, on the hand especially. Uh, do not, and sanitize your hands before you come up for communion. So wear a mask. That's a good idea. Uh, go ahead. Um, there will be a couple of ministers in the church that won't be uh, using the mask for certain parts of the mass. Uh, masks, again, just as a reminder, cannot be placed on people under two years old. Um, keep that in mind, too, if you're bringing your kids. Uh, fourth of all, fourth question you may have had in your mind, what will change with the mass? Well, the essential qualities of the mass will remain the same, um, but there will be some adjustments. There'll be no congregational singing, so the hymnals have been removed, um, and the placards, so there's also no sign of peace, and we won't be receiving under the species of the blood. Um, so the chalices won't be there for the mass as well. Um, baskets will be placed at the beginning or near the, the entrance of the church for the collection, since we will not have a gifts procession. Uh, so please place those in there and one usher will take care of the collection at that point uh, and two of them will bring it to the place uh, of security there. Um, then uh, keep in mind too, electronic giving is very simple. Uh, you can sign up through our website, buellchismcatholic.org. Uh, please um, do that, avail yourself to that option. It's very simple, very easy. If you have difficulties, just give us a call and we'll try to walk you through it. Um, also, fifth question you may have in your mind is, will I be able to receive communion? Again, you are not required to receive communion if you are not comfortable. Communion will be actually following the conclusion of Mass. So we'll be doing a particular form of the Mass where communion is distributed after the final blessing and dismissal. Uh, so communion will be at the end of Mass. Practice physical distancing as you leave, of course, but uh, this is what you do. You come out of your aisle, and you'll, there's markings in the center aisle of the churches, six feet apart, so you'll be six feet behind the person in front of you for Mass. Uh, lower your mask first before you leave your pew and sanitize your hands. This is why it's good to bring your own. Sanitize your hands. Uh, bring your mask out, down first, sanitize your hands, and get into communion line. And when you come up, um, uh, the priest will have the mask on. I will have my mask on while I'm distributing communion, but not for the other parts of the mass. Um, pull your, uh, and then, so do not wear gloves if you're to receive communion on the hand especially. Please do not do that. Um, so sanitizing your hands does even just more to protect yourself from the virus. So, um, don't be afraid of that. So those are the questions I wanted to address, uh, briefly and get this out there so you can start to prepare yourself for coming back to mass. Uh, again, we hope to, uh, see you very soon here again, starting May 26th. So the weekend of the 30th and 31st will be our first weekend back together. It will be wonderful to see you all. Uh, and there will be more information that comes out since things seem to be shifting a lot. And there's going to be some interesting things as we go forward. So just be docile. Be ready to receive instruction. We will try to instruct at the beginning of every Mass of what's happening and how things should go um, to keep everyone safe and also still receive the Eucharist and worship together in the Mass. God bless you. And um, I'll leave you with a blessing. Uh, the Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.